Hey guys, Sean Shadow here. I'm going to show you a uh, video here on how to get Nintendo 64 games on your computer. This works on any Windows operating system and is really sweet. Um, first of all, you're going to need to get the program to play the games. It's called Project 64 and I'll give you the link in the video description to this website. Enter in the code, whatever is there and you're gonna have to wait 45 seconds so I'll come back when it's done alright guys I'm back it's done downloading so you're gonna click right here on the free download it's gonna take a second and then you're gonna save this file to wherever you wanna save it it's very very small file only a couple megabytes so it's not gonna take very long to download um, so once it's done downloading you can go ahead and open it up. It is a .zip file, so you're gonna need to extract it, but not just yet. Um, you're gonna make a new folder for this whole thing, and it's gonna be called the Nintendo 64 folder, okay? Um, to do this, you don't need WinRAR for this first part, the second part you will, so you might as well get it now if you don't already have it on your computer. But um, here it is here, Project 64 1.7.0.49. So double click on it, open it up if you have WinRAR. And you might get this, just close it. Um, and drag and drop, guys. So just do it. Go to your downloads folder and drag and drop it into Nintendo 64. And it takes only a second. You'll see the moving or whatever you have. And there you go. That's it. Um, go in there and if you want to and have a look, check it. Open up the, the, the program. And here it is. If you've gotten the screen, you're good. If you're not up to here, I'm not sure why. But, you know, just go ahead and rewind, watch it again. Maybe you did something wrong. But that's it. Um, now you're going to need to get some games so I'm going to give you a link to one of my favorite websites to get games from for your computer for Nintendo 64 um, it's called getyourrom.com um, it's a very nice website actually I like it a lot um, here you can get every game for the Nintendo 64 I think you can get it from these other ones too and it even gives you, which is really cool, guys. It gives you, it gives you the picture of the actual box, which remember, it reminds me of the good old days when I went out to buy these games for forty, fifty dollars, um, which I feel like I've gotten cheap at now. But good times, good times. <laughs> I'm gonna download. Let's see, Batman. I'm gonna get Banjo Kazooie. I already have it. I don't have to download it, but Banjo Kazooie. And in here, you're gonna see, you know, all the information about the game, description, rating, and then down here is your download link. So click on it, open it up, and it will take you to this web page. You might get an advertisement here or something, but you're always gonna be sent to this web page called File Send. Um, just click on the gold download button, and you're gonna want to save it. This one does take a little bit of time to download because it is a whole game, but I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to do it again. Just download it to wherever you have it, and then you can exit your browser because you don't need it anymore. Um, so here is the file. It's going to be called whatever game you downloaded, and then maybe a U and .rar. So again, do the same thing. Open up, and here you're going to get maybe it pop up again. And here's your file, banjo kazooie u dot not raw anymore. It's dot z sixty four or dot v sixty four or something with sixty four in it probably. Um, you're not just gonna want to drag it out to your desktop. You're not just gonna like do one of these or drag there. You're gonna have to put it in a specific place. Um, it's gonna be in the Nintendo sixty four folder you made, and in here you're gonna make a new folder you're gonna name this folder games 
not like that <laughs> but like this there we go games unless you like it like that but there we go games and drag and drop now takes a little second but there you go so once you've done all that you're good for the downloading portion um, once it's all done go ahead and open up the program go to file choose ROM dictionary this is going to be the you're choosing the folder where all your where all and I mean all of your games are saved and you know so I mean, you, you can't save them to your desktop or save them to some weird folder it has to be in one folder it doesn't necessarily need to be in Nintendo 64 as long as all your games are in one folder you're good so just choose your folder games press ok and bam here's your game you're gonna probably have a list if you download more I mean I would but that's your game Banjo Kazooie Glover, Zelda, whatever, and um, yeah, and Sean, how do I play these games? Well, you're gonna need to have your keyboard set up to play them. So you're gonna go to options and configure controller plugin. Here, you're gonna get a very nice picture of the controller, and it's very easy, people. I mean, here is everything you need. Um, it tells you what it is. That's the digital pad, the digital pad, analog, analog, you know. You just set it up how you want it set up, which is, you know, what's what's most comfortable for you to play in. I mean, you know, do you like playing like this, or do you want the buttons to change from A to T? Is that more comfortable for your hands, you know? But, you know, once you have it all set up, how you like it, press OK and then you can double click on the game and load it up you can either play it in a window here or if you press escape full screen yeah and then press escape again and then you just press escape again and there you go very simple guys, so if my videos help, go ahead and rate, comment, and subscribe people. And um, and on a personal note, um, I was wondering, if anybody has an old webcam or video camera that they don't need, let me know, because I am a very good iPod touch hacker and I wouldn't love to do some tutorials but as you see I'm using this with a microphone because I don't have anything to record video on guys um, <laughs> yeah but I'm not begging I don't care it's okay whatever it doesn't matter to me you know I'm just a casual YouTube user I'm not big or anything but I'm starting to like YouTube a lot more so yeah just so go ahead rate comment subscribe on this video um, if my videos help, um, let me know. So, see you later, guys.